fuck Rudy Gobert with another video. And we're here to talk about the sequel to one of the quintessential projects of the last half decade, 2015 to 2019, or the most important part of the decade. Everything before 2015 is like a blur. And I know it's because that's how time works. Hey, that's all I'm saying. It's just that it's a blur. Lil Uzi Vert versus the World 1. The quintessential project for SoundCloud rap, maybe? Um, Dreadhead artists, anime ass niggas, SoundCloud rappers in general, short guys. All of these waves come into one project. You can say this helped put Don Cannon on. Uh, Metro Boomin got a big boom to his clout after this project. Uh, I, you know, let's just get down to it. So let's look at the background a little bit. This artwork designed by 20-year-old St. Louis artist Forrest. References to Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It is a depiction. It is basically a transformation of one of the um, the cover comics. Uh, one of the covers to the comics of Scott Pilgrim. Uh, and we have Brittany. We have Uzi. Now, four years later... There is no Britney. There's no Britney. And there is Uzi. But Uzi isn't who he used to be. So if we go over here, you yuck, 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 yuck. Hold up, let's see. I'm doing this on camera. Go ahead and get this out of the way. So if we go here, this is the new art. Uh, we can get this out the way too. All right, so this is new art. This is supposed to be VTW2. And I, it fits the theme of what Eternal Taki kind of is. Or Eternal Take, if you want to say. It's spacious, a little coat, hoodie. Uh, he's glowed up, Super Saiyan Uzi, you know. I don't think I, I, don't, I, don't, I think he's, he may be blonde right now. I'm not sure, but the the dollar sign remains. The fame isn't as important. The bass, the, the guitar theme, the rock star theme, the the clout, uh, you know, just being there for the the, the 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 homies as the homies are right there. It's not as important. It's it's, it's he's a, he's on a different plane right now, and. When you imply that you're on a different plane than where you used to be at, um, okay, Brittany used to play basketball, so maybe I was, okay. Anyway, when you are implying that you're on a different plane than you used to be at, which is, in my opinion, implication with the background, um, in a higher space, literally, it's gotta be better. I'm not a big fan of LAR2, the sequel to his other breakout mixtape. Um, I'm just not a big fan of it, but I think that there are different sounds there and different styles he chose to employ, which made it at least an interesting effort. You go to, um, Neon Guts, Pretty Mommy, 20 Minutes, um, you know, some of those songs are peak Uzi. Uh, Eternal Taki, I'm not a big fan of Eternal Taki, to be honest with you, not, not, not a big fan of Eternal Taki. Uh, this, this album should not be an album where it only is Lil Uzi on it. It doesn't work. It does It doesn't. Um, there are, there are heaters, but it's just, it's just repetitive. I don't know. It's just repetitive. There are some different ways he goes um, on here. You know, literally, he has three different versions of himself that are on here. I'm going I'm to admit to you, I haven't heard Lil Uzi Vert. I've heard Baby Pluto. I've heard Renji. Renji is different mood. 
I don't think that his 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 you know it feels like he raps the same way essentially. It's just a different background. But I I'd be remiss to say that he doesn't at least attempt to make it more somber mood mood mood. Big Pluto is definitely like just flexing, you know, stunting. And if you look at Lil Lucifer, I'm aware of that way. I'm aware of Futal's shuffle. I guess that's supposed to be, he got sit on track 13. I guess it's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be kind of more to the core of Lil Uzi Vert. Maybe I should listen to Lil Uzi Vert before I had made this album. Who knows? But anyway, the third act is something I have listened to. But I don't think it's enough to say. I don't think Eternal Taki is that good. I think it's like a 6.5 out of 10. You know, something like that. I think that LIR2 is probably a 7-ish. I think Lil Uzi Vert vs. The World is about a 9 out of 10. I need this guy to be... If he's going to make this sequel worthwhile, he should be at least two and a half points better than where he was on this album. And I don't know if he has two and a half points. If he came out with... Because like, most of this is supposed to be leaks, right? Like leaks... And, I guess, tracks that he promised that just didn't come out. So, it's supposed to be primarily not new material. He's going to call a compilation of what isn't new material a sequel to his freshest project he's ever made. That's not good. That's, that's not good. That's not good. Um, but I'm very hyped. I wanted a Scott Pilgrim cover with Eternal Taki. And while Ferris did design, I believe it was cover three, um, it wasn't Scott Pilgrim, which made that absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. Why do you get Ferris without getting a Scott Pilgrim cover? I don't know. Um, I wanted Scott Pilgrim Uzi back. Uzi has said that the tracks that will be on this prod on, on e VTW2 will be him getting his flow back. That's what he said. Um, I'm, I'm wishful. I'm hopeful. I'd like a, I'd, I prefer a good Uzi album over a not good Uzi album. You know, I don't. I don't want to hate on Uzi. I mean, he's interesting. I won't be listening to it first because Jay Electronica is releasing the album. I'm not gonna listen to. Uh, BTW is one of our favorite products to ever come out. This is. Basically, Act Two that's about to come out tonight. It's Act Two, but ten years late. I, I got a ten year late album, four year sequel. I mean, did the math just? I had to listen to Jay Electronica first. Uh, and Cardi, I may listen to Cardi single with Drake that's supposed to come out as well. But after that, Eternal Talkie Part Two slash VTW Two, I will be. I want to listen to Kobe Rowley. I want to listen to Kobe. See you later. Hope the album's good.